Have you ever wondered how wealth and happiness can coexist? Today, we're diving into The Almanac of Naval Ravikant, a book that shines a light on this very question. Penned by Eric Jorgensen, this book distills the profound wisdom of Naval Ravikant, a titan in the world of entrepreneurship and investment. It's a treasure trove of insights on balancing a thriving career with personal joy and contentment. Join us as we delve into the essence of this enlightening book. Wealth is not a destination. It's a journey. In the first part of The Almanac of Naval Ravikant, Ravikant shares profound insights into his philosophy on wealth. It's a philosophy that is not about accumulating riches overnight, but about creating true value. One key component of this philosophy is what Ravikant refers to as specific knowledge. This is knowledge you acquire from your unique experiences, passions, and curiosity. It's not something you can learn by rote, but something that's cultivated over time. Next, there's accountability. In a world where many shirk responsibility, embracing accountability sets you apart. It's about owning your actions, your decisions, your successes, and yes, your failures too. Lastly, Ravikant emphasizes the importance of leverage. By utilizing resources effectively, you can create greater value without necessarily increasing your effort. As Ravikant puts it, embrace accountability and take business risks under your own name. Society will reward you with responsibility, equity, and leverage. Not all wealth is in the form of money. A cardinal truth Naval Ravikant emphasizes in his almanac. He invites us to consider the power of long-term thinking. Wealth creation, he posits, is not a rapid burst of luck, but a slow burn, a marathon, not a sprint. It's about understanding the power of compound interest, not just in finance, but in every aspect of life, learning, relationships, health. Compound interest over time creates a snowball effect. Small, consistent efforts like a single snowflake over time can transform into a massive, unstoppable force. It's about the daily grind, the relentless pursuit of improvement, the unwavering commitment to your craft. And then there's the internet, the great equalizer. It has democratized opportunities like nothing else. Now you can learn, create, and earn from anywhere in the world. In the vast expanse of the digital world, your wealth is not limited by geography or pedigree. In Navel's words, the internet has massively broadened the possible space of careers. Most people haven't figured this out yet. Happiness is a choice, not a result. A profound statement, isn't it? This sentiment is echoed throughout the section of the Almanac of Naval Ravikant dedicated to happiness. The author makes a compelling case that happiness isn't something that just happens to us. Rather, it's a skill we can work on and improve over time. Just like learning to play an instrument or mastering a new language, developing the skill of happiness requires practice. It's about being present in the moment, cultivating mindfulness and accepting the reality of our circumstances. It's about seeking truth in our lives and in ourselves. This might sound challenging and it is. But remember, no worthwhile skill was ever learned without a bit of effort. The pursuit of happiness isn't a destination, it's a journey. It's about making a conscious choice every day to seek joy and contentment. To quote Naval, happiness is a choice and a skill. It requires effort and time. Wealth and happiness are not mutually exclusive. This is a resounding truth as we delve into the wisdom bestowed by Naval Ravikant in The Almanac of Naval Ravikant, penned by Eric Jorgensen. Let's take a moment to reflect on the key takeaways from this enlightening book. Firstly, Ravikant emphasizes that wealth is not an overnight phenomenon. It's a gradual process that requires consistent effort, clear goals, and a healthy dose of patience. Wealth is not merely about accumulating material riches. It's also about creating value, building relationships, and maintaining a growth mindset. Moving on, we learn that happiness, much like wealth, is not a destination, but a journey. It's not something that's handed to us on a silver platter, but rather an internal state of being that we cultivate within ourselves. Ravikant guides us to understand that happiness is not tied to external circumstances or possessions. It's a practice, a habit we need to foster daily. It's about being present, being content, and finding joy in the simplest of things. Moreover, Ravikant beautifully illustrates that wealth and happiness can indeed coexist, they are not at odds with one another, but rather, they feed into each other. Wealth allows for freedom and flexibility, while happiness brings a sense of fulfillment and peace. Remember, wealth and happiness both require effort, time, and a shift in perspective. 
As we journey through life, let's strive to find that balance between wealth and happiness. In the end, as Naval Ravikant succinctly puts it, play long-term games with long-term people.